location at Fellini's on the downtown mall with the new owner, Chris Humphrey, also the executive chef at Fellini's, and I want to get into that story, but before we do, I mean, I, I love the brand and, and resume and reputation you built here in Charlottesville. When people hear Chris Humphrey, they know incredible cuisine, delicious food, approachable cuisine. Um, put in perspective how you built this brand, Chris. I mean, I, I've said it a lot that I like to cook the way I like to eat, and I like to eat the way my grandmother used to cook. And that's really what it all comes down to. I mean, I started cooking because I wasn't into playing football and that sort of stuff with my cousins. I hung out in the kitchen with grandma and stirred the pot, and that's where everything started. I mean, I was too short to even reach the stove. She would have to turn a pot upside down for me to stand on it so I could reach the thing. That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, I mean, from there I started waiting tables when I was a teenager and realized the kitchen was a lot more fun than being in the front of the house. So it's where I landed. And I love it. I really like your approach to, to being a chef because, you know, you are doing things for a reason. It's not like you're, you know, with an artist, they could get fancy for no sake of saying, oh, look, I'm a great artist. For you, you're putting stuff on a plate that has a purpose, that's tasty, that's approachable. I think that's how I would describe your food, approachability and deliciousness. Give us some insight into that. I mean, really, the farmers write the menu, right? That's how I go about it. Before I write a menu, I'll talk to the farmers and say, what will you have available next week, two weeks from now, a month from now? And I don't want to ruin all their hard work by trying to gussy it up and make it, make it pretty. The product's already what it is. So really, less is more. That's, which is one of the things I like working with Christian. It's a very similar, similar approach to the food. Cool, cool. Now you're the new owner at Fellini's. Yes. Um, Fellini's, uh, you know, safe to say, a Charlottesville institution. Um, how do you bring, this is a tough question for you, how do you bring um, this approachable mindset that a lot of times has been influenced by a southern perspective mm -hmm. to an Italian restaurant? Well, I feel like the Italian, even like the European approach to food is cooking what's available, right? Okay. Um, so it's the exact same thing. We're going to cook what's available, um, keep it simple, and give it an Italian technique, essentially. So, you know, We've run specials this week with okra on the menu. People don't think of okra when they think of an Italian restaurant. I love that. But it worked out great. You know, swordfish, okra, some anchovies. Good combination. Good answer right there. What are we going to um, potentially see differently at Fellini's? Um, more menu changes. The menu will be revolving more often based on what's available. Availability. Uh -huh. Really. Yeah. And not just you know, what's available seasonally at end of, you know, the broad season of spring, summer, fall, but um, small things that the farmers might have. They might have something for a week, two weeks, and so we want to show it off. Every chef has a dream of owning their own restaurant. I mean, you are now yeah. that guy. I mean, is it has it set in? Are you pitching yourself? You're like, I'm. I'm, I'm it, it's so a little surreal. It's crazy, right? It's, it's awesome. Yeah. I'm yeah. so impressed. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, put that in perspective for us. I mean, this is a dream that is becoming a reality. Yeah. Uh, the one thing I can say about it, it's harder than I thought to go through the process. Um, the process that we're still sort of we're in the process of the process, right? And. Uh, I think once all the paperwork is complete and I'm out from under a pile of, of signatures Logistics. And, and, and lawyers, yeah. that things will be able to settle in a little bit more for me. Fellini's guys, Chris Humphrey, the owner and executive chef, now a little smack talk here. Christian Kelly, I mean, Christian Kelly is a pretty pretty heavy hitter you're going against here. Oh, you're I mean, telling this, me. This dude, is, <laughs> this dude is jacked. He's a hell of a chef, yeah. okay? Oh, I yeah. mean, he's got, he's got some pretty sharp looks oh, yeah. over there. I mean, give me something about Christian Kelly here. I don't know, man. I mean, when I, it's, I, I've known Christian for a few years and uh, loved working with him, definitely learned from him. Um, and I'm not going to lie, it's a little intimidating to go up against him, okay? But I, I know what I'm in for. The upside is I worked for him, so I know his weaknesses. Okay, so I can take I like advantage that. of that. Okay, that the work use that for my favor. 
trying to take him down. What are the weaknesses? You're going to tell us? You're going to keep oh, that no, a secret? No, no, right no, no, no. I can't tell you that. Okay, okay. <laughs> He'll work on it if I tell you that. <laughs> Nine, <not> me. <laughs> 9 11, September 11th. It's a Monday. The Dual Chef Showdown. You can buy tickets online, dualchefshowdown.com. This man, Chris Humphrey, the executive chef and owner at Fellini's, against executive chef co owner Christian Kelly of Meyer Restaurant. Guys, it's going to be an epic showdown of tremendous proportions. Do not miss these dudes. Ba, 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 ba.